now, probably four years old, I started making tamales. My granddaughter, she started making tamales when she was five. Like everybody in our family, is part of our tradition. We wanted to work a little bit with the uh, Food Bank of the Rockies to show them how, everybody knows how to make tamales, but I wanted to show my own way. Uh, I love to be part of this organization, so that's what we're doing today. One in nine children in Colorado experience food insecurity, and that means that they don't know where their next meal is coming from. We want the food that we send out of the kitchen to be exciting, and we want them to be happy with the food that they're getting, and we want that the after-school programs that they're staying in to be a place they want to be, a place that's going to be fun for them and enriching to them. All right, so I wanted to do half of this and half of this so we both can see the difference in between the dough when you have it already done. It means the work to me to know that I can be part of the community, especially with kids. I have 1,500 children that I take care of. The food gets to go out there, these kids get to have the food and they get lunch that, are, that is fun for them. And They were asking for things. We do our best to listen to what the kids want. We get feedback all the time from the kids. So we send tamales out once a month. We possibly one of the top three things we send out of the kitchen. Tamales is one of my things that I grew up with uh, and it's one of the most important traditions we have from Mexico. I mean, tamales for us is not just Christmas, it's, it's more like a gathering. Creating moments is the most important thing. And I think tamales is one of those things that is very, almost like universal, you know, like everybody has comfort food in their own country. Tamales are actually how I started getting into community food. Uh, so when I was growing up, I was down uh, in Georgia, and my, uh, my mom had a Puerto Rican um, best friend down the street. And so then for the first time I had tamales, we had um, Melba and Abuela, they, they brought us over and we sat down and we didn't realize we were going to be making food either. They didn't tell us anything. Like, oh, it's, it's Christmas, come on over. All of a sudden they're like, cool, you sit down now, you start doing this, and there's no questions, just telling us what to do every single day. And it ended up giving me a really big appreciation for doing that. So I, I continue these traditions today. It's such an important thing that we keep doing. In our culture, it is just the best tradition we can have. So I think that's why it's, it feels good and safe to have a good tamal during this time of the year. Four peppers. No four peppers? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's better. I think you'll make that. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.